Alrighty. Testing, testing, testing. We are back. Back with Final Fantasy VII. Uh, let's see here. Let's just... Um, re clean the chat for a bit. These are all old messages. There we go. And let's check the dashboard. Open dashboard dashboard. Are you okay? Got the dashboard up and running. Um, yeah. Uh, oh wait, I didn't update my stream info. Let me just fix that. This will be part fifteen. And let's see, how shall we title this? Uh, I think just, uh, no, let's say, Eris, no. Like that, excellent. Okay, um, yeah, I, I did some streaming a couple hours ago in the afternoon. Um, got a couple more limit breaks for the, some, some uh, people in the team. And we got some more levels. But now it's time to uh, book some progress. I think we'll have to go to... Um, archaeological dig site yeah bone village and uh, there is a summon material to be found and some other stuff it took a, uh, a little look at a guide so that we don't miss any important stuff um, yeah let's get to it uh, let's see here, this is my latest save game. And what's our status here? Uh, Yuffie's dead, Tifa's got fury. Well, let's just start with um, reviving. Oh, wait, I have two revive materia, so. Let's just um, give Cloud the other one. Perhaps Tifa has it already? No? Oh, yeah, they're both, at, uh, both on UV. Yeah, that's uh, kind of overkill. Um, yeah, the layout is still all in double slots. Maybe we'll uh, change that later. Mm. For now, let's put the... Actually, I leveled up quite a bit on the materia. I should be able to at least switch one of armor or one of the weapons to regular slots. Uh, let's take a look at Cloud. Mm. Yeah, let's switch him back to the Murasame. And then we'll have one slot for, let's see, a 5 a 5 Man, my material layout is a mess right now. Uh, okay, we've got a 5 here, that's still life 1. How are we doing on the life 2 front? That's uh, still the ways to go. Okay. Mm. Okay, first things first. We are going to resurrect UV. We are going to do a bunch of basic curing. There we go. And we are going to head towards 
our little airplane. Great. Then uh, up next we will continue to the bomb village. Uh, let's see, we'll have to think a bit about what team we are going to continue with. But I don't think we're running into any major important battles or bosses yet, so just take it easy and. Uh, Let's just uh, save over here. <coughs> uh, let's check uh, out what's uh, going on at the Bone Village. Do you know where Eris is? Are you talking about that girl? I warned her. She went into the sleeping forest anyway. Okay, start digging. I want good treasure. I think now is the time to take a little look at the guide because where is the good treasure buried exactly? The we dig up the following: the mob. A weapon for Sid. Oh, but it's uh, one weapon we can get, but it doesn't have materia growth. Could be purchased as well at Junon, okay. Um, we'll have to get some staff in position. say three guys up here and from that we should be able to get a position on something if there is anything up here okay how do I uh, just talk to somebody now How do we start this uh, digging process exactly? Oh, there we go, done. Press switch to ignite the bomb for the search. Okay, well, if I follow these guys lines, then there should be something here. If there even was anything upstairs, maybe they were all pointing to something down here. Ocean, really? That's not good treasure. Uh, okay. Let's try uh, another search for good treasure. This time we'll check down below. I'll just put uh, two guys over here. Feeling this is both pointing to something uh, up here. Let's try this spot here. I wonder if these positions are random. Bunt line, okay. We did find something. Let's see. Bunt line, bunt line. 
if that's a weapon. Current line. Ah, oh, here we go. Long range weapon. Okay, cool. So that's one of the optional weapons we can find. Um, let's see, what else can we get? A Mega Elixir. And there's also the mop we can find, but we could also just buy it. Oh nice, the bunt line is a double growth uh, materia slot. Okay, I don't think we'll be using any of the other items, so let's start digging for the Lunar Harp. And I believe that should be... Let's see... The Lunar Harp is located same place for everyone. Just on the left, on the rising smoke on the upper level of the village. Okay, so... Put a guy over here. Then we'll cross check it with a guy over here. <coughs> and done. Wow, it should be like right around here. Nothing! What? I was cheated. It was the right position. I like, I missed it by like a millimeter or something. Okay, uh, you know what? This time we're putting three guys over there. There and we'll cross reference uh, archaeologist over there. Okay, so this guy walks over there, meets, yeah, it should be like, be here, right? There we are, the item in our harp. Okay, should we talk? Should we talk some more? Yeah, this is all old info. Alright, Sleeping Forest! See, there should be a summon material over here. The sleeping forest awoke. Oh yeah, there it, there it goes. Let's keep our eyes open. Oh, there you are. So it was top left. There we go, Kuyata materia. Let's equip it on somebody just to see what it does. Oh, 
Okay, well. Let's take a look around. Ah, we're heading into battle territory. Quite a bunch of enemies. Let's try stealing some stuff. Uh, let's let Tifa do the, the beta thing. Although I guess I shouldn't have to be worried here. Oh, that's pretty, uh, pretty decent XP here. Mystify level up. Uh, what are dazers? The dazers, dazers. Up oh, paralyze, okay. We get a water ring. I think we might be needing that. Um, let's put it on UV. Anything over here? No. Okay, what do we get? Uh, it's the same setup. Try some more stealing. Oh, that's just more dazers. Um, do we have a enemy skill equipped? <coughs> oh yeah, she's still in fury mode. Yeah, she's got an enemy skill. Let's try uh, L for suicide. Oh, nice! That uh, also had a mini as a side effect. Okay, well. Let's just uh, try stealing something uh, out of these remaining enemies. Oh, but we are... We are a uh, slow effect. I could cast a big guard, because I think that also gives us haste. Let's see if I'm correct about that. Okay, yeah, that gives us haste. Nice. Um, we stole Phoenix down, so let's just finish this fight and uh, get out of here. Okay, gravity and time level ups. can cast Berserk now. We have Stop on this time. Okay, great. You know what, let's get Yuffie out of here. Um, we've done enough leveling up all, all these materia. 
Let's get a bit more serious setup going here. Give her something against sleep. Sure. Uh, you know what? Let's get let's get Vincent in here. He's got. We've got the bunt line. Shotgun. <coughs> and right now, yeah, we have a sniper normal growth or the bunt line double growth. Let's keep this on. Let's nullify. He gets the water protection. <coughs> Let's see. Um, give him a uh, whole fire. Store. We'll give him uh, elemental fire protection. No, wait. Then we can. Let's make that poison. Put one restore in there or one revive. Give him a bunch of powerful Well, what else? Maybe a lightning all? Make him a heavy magic user. Let's change the layout for Cloud also a bit. Um, go with a diamond bangle, keep the ribbon. Give him a Mary 5 as well. Let's throw in the added effect time. He probably won't be using Mystify. A heal all is not that necessary. Let's give him a uh, a Earth a Earth all. Some water summons. Tifa then, he's still got the power soul, <coughs> well, that's fine by me, change this to a diamond bangle, he's got the enemy skills, she's got counter, she's got cover, got gravity, time, uh, restore all, HP plus, Let's give her the long range, okay. Um, the weapon that Cloud has, that's not long range, right? No. Okay, I think this is a pretty fun setup. Let's see what's going on here. Hey, another safe point. Hey, Andrew. 
impending doom of the music. You can say that again. Uh, I just saved, so we're skipping that one. So you're doing a revision now? Uh, I really have a whole bunch of magic sources and maybe I should use a couple. Let's see, I've got luck source. Let's give it both to Tifa and Cloud. Put the magic source on one on Cloud. Power source on Tifa. Mind source. So I'll give it to Cloud. Okay, before we head that way, let's see what's on the other side of the path. Nothing about fitness facilities now. I'm not bothered about any spoilers. So excited. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I must say, most of the game, like after the Eris moment, is also a bit hazy for me. So I'll probably uh, be just as surprised uh, as you are. Um, okay, there's a bunch more stuff to discover here. Oh, more of these glowing. Uh, I can't understand. I wonder if there's like anybody else in my party who could make sense of that stuff. But yeah, probably not. <coughs> okay, that was a bunch of houses on that side. Oh, uh, there's more. Just, I don't think I even checked all these things in previous playthroughs. It's too bad he keeps saying the same thing over and over again. Uh, so far I'm grateful there aren't any random encounters in this part, looks like. Is a diary we can read? No, I guess not. Maybe we should take a short nap? Sure. Don't really need it, but uh, we'll just replenish some of those MP points. Hey, music changed. I feel it. Eris is here, and so is Sigurov. How did you find that out? Oh boy, oh boy. This place sure has a different atmosphere now. Oh, we actually can't go anywhere else. Looks like we really triggered the, uh, the plot here. Let's see, what's, what's all this about? Looks like a little summon material on the ground, but it's just a red pixel, looks like. Um, oh wait, I can go up here. I think. Not. Huh. Odd. I'm missing something here. feel like I should be able to press a switch or anything. Really no comment about this huge pillar. Okay, I guess not. Let's let's keep exploring. Suppose the game will tell me if I uh, get distracted too much. Ah, there we go. 
There is voice coming from there. Oh, the tension, the tension. Yep, I know this place. And I recognize that water. Wow, there's a lot of these glowy spheres over here. We can't interact with them, looks like. We get Comet. Oh. I'm going to equip that instantly. <coughs> Let's see. Uh, everybody's got a summon. Except Tifa. I don't think we'll be using Haste. Because we got big guard and big guard casts haste on everybody. We could try a slow or stop on an enemy or boss. Curious what gravity will do, but so far it's not been that effective against uh, bosses. So you know what? Let's uh, let's get combat in here. Now we'll take these little stairs down. And I have a feeling we'll be running into Eris here. In this beautiful little... Little... Uh, what do you call it? Oasis. Got the save point. Alright. Uh, you know what? I'm actually curious if that uh, gravity material is useful. Let's see if we can switch out any of the more basic stuff. I don't think we'll need a all fire. So let's just give uh, the gravity and the fire to Vincent. I think it's safe to continue here. Ah. Ah, there she is. There it is. Okay, this is for us to discover. Fun stepping stones. Oh no, clouds, get the grip. Uh, why are you holding your sword, clouds? Okay, now we can just move our hips a little. Do a funky dance. Okay, and... This is not going to improve Cloud's uh, self-esteem. smiled a little
Yes. This can be real. Man, I would have loved to see like the reactions of the Japanese players who played this like 20 years ago or something. When they put all their hard time and effort into leveling up Eris and giving her all kinds of good equipment. And then the game just kills her. Sekurov is just annoying everybody with all his plans. Kaperov just can't imagine somebody having emotions. Of course we get the boss battle with the sad music. Okay, um, we will start off with a... I think this is a water fight. Let's see what Kujata does. Okay, his attack heals Vincent. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's quite an event. Ah, Kujata is a giant bull. 2000 damage, right? Let's. Oh, he's got reflect. Oh, I should have equipped um, Destruct. But that's okay. We'll just hit him with a couple of summons. The Bahamut uh, family of summons is always a favorite of mine. They're just awesome. Get a big guard going. We've got a quake free. We can cast a regen on ourselves. Throw in. Uh, oh, god damn it! He's got the reflect. Oh, I always forget. Uh, do we survive this? Oh, we can dispel him. There we go. I just hope the dispel will be on time. And this better not reflect. Alright, great. Uh, Vincent, you can do a regular attack. Did this dispel him properly? Wonder. Let's try a trine. Let's. Uh, Vitus water spell. Oh yeah, okay, so we can dispel him, but he's instantly... Okay, let's uh, go... Oh, that's the enemy skill we want, Aqua Lung. And we learned it. Okay, we got a limit break. Let's uh, start hitting him with some regular attacks. And this should be over pretty soon. Because we are way over leveled by now. And he, he can't even hurt Vincent because he's absorbing all the water attacks. Here we are. Just one, uh, one limit break and he's a goner. We get 4000 XP for our troubles. Very nice. Get a new wizard bracelet. I'm a puppet? What? He 
Tifa running away crying. I suppose I should have had Barrett in my team here. He would have been a bit more emotional than Vincent. And now it's time for a watery grave. Ah, this is such a classic cutscene. So, that's that. Now it's time for Cloud to give a speech. <coughs> I'm Cloud, ex-soldier, born in Nibelheim. Came to settle up with Sephiroth. FF Remake Part 102, Eris is still alive. Yeah. <coughs> I really don't know when, uh, when they'll get to that in the remake part. It's going to take a couple of more years uh, at this rate. Cloud comes to terms with his kind of alternate personality. Okay, so that finishes disc one. Right, I'm going to just sneeze a bit and blow my nose. Ah. Okay, so there were a couple of pathways that were still blocked off. But it looks like now we can um, we can follow him. This path is still blocked off to us. Let me just quickly uh, check a guide here to see if there's any way we can get over there. Or if that's for a... Yeah. Let's see, so... We 
can get to this area if we come from the left of the of the screen. And there is a armlet there that can be found. see one more thing see yeah, I don't have what's this oh yeah here we go okay so we go to the left house again right does it do? Oh, it's a pretty uh, good increased defense. Um, let's put it on loud. And I think over here on top is also something. Right? This is huge. But I actually can't interact with it, it seems. Okay, so we got the armlet. Hey, there's another enemy skill here. But yeah, I'm not sure why I should have another enemy skill. Guess we could get another big guard maybe for for future use. Well, it would be a shame to leave a materia like that uh, hanging around here. So let's see. That's the this treasure chest on the bottom. Climb the ladder floor. Okay, we have to head back a bit. Um, nothing here, right? Or is this a path down below? It looks like a path. No. Just walk on back over here. I sure make these uh, layouts uh, confusing at times. So we're going back to this house. Yeah, that would be a um, a fun stream somewhere in the future. To just uh, refill another enemy materia. Not this one. And it's the other one. Yeah, here we are. Okay, so... Don't rest. Wow, holy shit, you're kidding me? They hid it behind this fucking pillar? So like everywhere you go you'll just have to mash the, uh, the, what, the A button or the circle just to see if there's items uh, missing. <laughs> yeah, it's 
kind of a fucked up place to put uh, an item. But we got it, so... Um, let's just uh, follow the story here, follow uh, the shadow of Sepirov. And see where we end up. Oh, wait. I think we have to go back down to get to the chests. But first, let's let Stifa do her limit. Oh. Well, I didn't pay attention. Somebody already killed an enemy with a uh, with a cover. A return attack. Got another level up for the all. Okay, we'll do this whole on and dance back down. We skip the stairs and just head to the chest. Thank you. A Viper Halbert. Sounds familiar. I I think it's something for Sid. Right? Hyper Halbert. Man, I really should do another shelling round in the next town. Got so many stuff. Hyper Halbert, what is this? Yeah, that's Sid, right? Yeah. Um, let's do some healing here. Ready. And now we'll have to take this thing back upstairs. <coughs> oh wait, there's an exit uh, on the left. Gold Mountain! And let's try stealing. Let's do a... Let's do a Demi Free. I just want to see how it looks like. Probably useless here, but whatever. Actually worked. Yeah, we don't really have to worry about these enemies. We're pretty over leveled. I mean, the way that uh, Genova enemy just died was also like <laughs> way too easy. I think Cloud did what, like 3000 points of damage in his uh, limit attack? Uh, oh wait, this is annoying, this is one of those puzzles. There's a limit over there behind a rock. If there's like a set way uh, we have to climb that. Oh, that's a new enemy. Oh no! We've got a mini Vincent! Ah, that's cute. He does like one damage now. Huh. Alright, Vincent, you just stay uh, put. While the grown-ups handle the enemies. There we go. Let's see, we have a guide here that says climb all the way left. And then we go... No wait, I wanted to go left actually. 
have to go climb to the right, then come down over there. So we'll go down. Can we do we get the choice here? Yeah. Hypno crown. The hell is a hypno crown? Increases manipulation rate, oh, that sounds actually pretty fun, could be useful when getting uh, some enemy skills again for the new uh, enemy skill materia. Okay, let's head up. Hit him with a bunch of uh, magic. Oh, holy shit. They minified Tifa and then they ate her. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that happen before. She's actually gone from the team now. Yeah, there she is. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get this chest over here. We'll have to go down, okay. Can we climb here? No. So, that's all the chests. And then there's just the materia at the bottom left. Go down the ladder. And that's another little puzzle area solved. Magic Plus. Uh, is that the same Magic Plus we already had? No, this increases the magic power, I think. Okay, well, that's definitely a uh, useful material to have. I hope I can equip a bunch of stuff with some more material slots. Because now I have way too many interesting materia to choose from. Okay, no way to go but right. Head into this cave here. Oh, they sure love giving me power sources and stuff like that. Um, what shall we do? You know what? Let's use this one on clouds. Is becoming all powerful. Hey! Light at the end of the tunnel. We're safe here. And let's get our bearings. We are now over there, and there's a town at the other end of this valley. have to keep our eyes open for interesting uh, enemy skills that we can get. So maybe we should get a uh, manipulate back into the layouts. Guys have nothing to steal. Just uh, get rid of them. Yeah, that's uh, not too hard. A 
let's see. Mm. Let's give Cloud the uh, manipulate. Is it dead end? Just one wolf, really. Uh, let's see if we can do manipulate. No. Let's give that one more try. Already too late. Wait, I have a new materia which increases the, the manipulate chance. So let's get uh, Kujata out of here and we'll add. See, what was it? No, wait, that wasn't a materia, that was, I think, a equipable item. Yeah, Hypno Crown. See how effective uh, this is on enemies. Maybe we can get some interesting encounters on a patch of grass. Any time now? Oh, it's one of those guys with like a million HP. Um, I will probably run from this because I don't have all day. Can't manipulate. But I think he's got a he's got a uh, good Chocobo breeding nut. So you know what? Yeah, the carob nut. That's essential to get like a green or blue chocobo, which will be doing uh, pretty... Um, I'm not gonna say soon, but we're going to need it at some point. If we wanna get into the chocobo game. Uh, for now, let's see... Let's use Aqua Lung for fun. Yeah, but this guy has a lot of uh, HP, so we really should just be putting ourselves in haste and slowing this guy down. Let's do a demi free. Uh, actually, we can just stop him. Maybe. Oh, wow. 10,000 damage? And he stopped. Alright. This is going to be a uh, demi-free fest now. Everybody attack. I think the, the demi magic works like proportionate, uh, proportionately. So first time you get more damage than later on. Yeah. Probably does like about half of the uh, HP. Um, let's give him a bio 2. Wait 3. Oh, we got the comet. Oh wow, that was very effective. Yeah, that went uh, a bit uh, faster than last time I fought that enemy. Still, good to uh, remind myself that uh, that's the enemy that we can get the carob nuts from. And there's also chocobo tracks here. This is a new enemy. Uh, let's try stealing, perhaps. Manipulating. Nothing to steal, okay. Uh, 
Let's just finish. Another level of poison, very nice. Uh, we should be getting close to, yeah, to the mountain town over here. Okay, two bunnies. Uh, definitely gonna try manipulating one of them. If they uh, hide any interesting attacks. <coughs> there we go. Okay, Vincent can attack the other one. Nice. Hardly interesting. Still, that manipulation bonus, that uh, looks to be uh, a useful skill. Oh, it's right here. Here we come to this Christmas-like town. Very cozy looking. So I suppose we'll have to ask around if they saw a man in a black cape. Ah, there's a snowboard over here. I've got a feeling we'll be riding it in the future. My boy got hurt right about the time we moved here. Never should have gotten him that snowboard. See what are these girls up to? Pretty nice house. Oh! My husband left 20 years ago and still hasn't come back. Should at least be at the foot of Gaia's cliff. It's marked with a check on the map. Okay. Kinda random. Uh, there looks to be a map over here. Look at the map. I'm sorry, but I don't see what Gaia's cliff is on here. But this map does come in handy. So we'll take it. Uh, we've got hero drink and a vaccine. Which I think are both pretty useful poisons. Po po poisons. Potions. Nearly impossible to reach the northern limits without a map. Okay, you better take that map on the mall. <laughs> what nerve! You already tore down the map. Sorry. I'm just very practical minded. Okay, let's head to the inn. Talk a bit, get some rest. Gnarly Hill. Claim from Costa del Sol to Snowbird, but we're just about to leave. Okay. The local bar. There's a huge crater to the north, okay. See what the bartender has to say. There's a snow woman at the great glacier that hates hot springs. Petra lived in this town a long time ago. Her name was Ifalna and she knew about a lot of things. I feel like we heard that name before. Wasn't that like Cloud's mother? Or no, it was Eris' uh, mother. Probably. Let's 
Some guy went to the Great Glacier. Well, who could that be? We're going past this town, you'll need a map. Maybe there's one left. Yeah, we already got it. We're way ahead of everybody. Best room is closed. I don't think there's much useful left to do here. Can we check upstairs? Oh, that's a pretty cool way. Cut out of the uh, of the house. Oh, and there's a potion. But we uh, have like a hundred X potions already from grinding. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Is this a door? No. Bunch of houses on the left. Wow, this looks uh, very Midgar like. Oh, right, this is a bunch of backstory. Okay, let's start with the original crisis. Ah, and there's uh, Eris mother that we saw in the cutscene back in Midgar a long time ago when she was dying in the train station where she left Eris. That professor guessed then. Please tell us about the Cetra. 2000 years ago, discover the planet's wound. Cetra then began a planet reading. Does planet reading entail? Like having a conversation with the planet. It said something fell from the sky, making a large wound. So it looks like uh, there was a meteor strike before. Thousands of Cetra pulled together, trying to heal the planet. Do the Cetra have special powers to heal the planet? No. Life force of all living things on this planet becomes the energy. Cetra tried desperately to cultivate the land, so as not to diminish the needed energy. No, never melts here. Is that because the planet's energy is gathered here to heal its injury? Yes. The planet tried to persuade the Cetra to leave the North Pole. Take a break. That's when it appeared. It looked like our dead mothers and our dead brothers showing specters of their past. Who is the person that appeared at the North Cave? I haven't any idea. First approached as a friend, deceived them and finally gave them the virus. What? That's where we were attacked by the virus and went mad. Wait, so there was a meteor strike? Like... 2000 years in the past that was what's left is the big crater that we see in the north but there was also some kind of sepirov like guy back then that was evil and somehow infected the setra with a virus let's see if we get any more back info on that Okay, what is weapon? Donna, can you comment on the thing called weapon? Yes, professor. The one the professor mistook for a setra was named Genova. Ah, alright, so... Genova, the crisis from the sky. When it knew it had to destroy the crisis from the sky, you see, as long as Genova exists, the planet will never be able to fully heal itself. But there's also a weapon, confusingly named a weapon, just with a capital W. Back then, weapon was a weapon the planet produced by its own will, yes, but there's no record of weapon ever being used. 
Small number of the surviving sets were defeated Genova and confined it. The weapon was produced but no longer needed. But it cannot vanish, it remains asleep somewhere on the planet. Genova is confined but it could still come back to life. So Genova was a crisis from the sky that arrived. That may also have been responsible for like the big injury on the planet. I'm not fully clear on that. Or the planet was hurt and then Genova arrived somehow. Might also be a possibility. And then of course later on Genova was discovered after it was confined by the Setra. And then they created Sepirov and he's just trying to replay history by creating another injury on the planet and then himself becoming a god by harvesting the energy. So he sure got the, the evil Genova genes in him. Uh, but the planet hasn't fully healed itself yet, it's keeping watch on Genova. Where is weapon? Don't know, can't hear, times have changed. That will be all for today. Yeah, it's it's sometimes it's hard to piece all together the plot of this game because of the translation that's uh, supposedly like terrible. Uh, let's see, daughter's record. What are you doing, Professor? I mean, honey. Ah, he's making his uh, home tape videos. He wants to record uh, Eris. If it's a girl, then it will be Eris. That's that. It was Eris' birth mother, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's her. Uh, oh, this is labeled confidential. Okay. Let's do the uh, second one as well. Yeah, she's wearing uh, like the exact same uh, stuff that uh, I think when... Uh... Did you see that part actually when um, it was in Midgar and was like very much in the beginning? There was this, uh, this talk with Eris like um, new mother, foster mother, something like that. Where she explains to Cloud uh, how she found Eris, and there was this flashback about her just arriving at the train station during the war, and uh, where she died, and Eris was just there and taken home with her. Uh, let's see, this is the Last tape, don't you want to capture her? If you keep doting on her like that, she won't grow up to be strong. I will protect you in Eris, no matter what. Who could that be? Hmm, that's probably bad news. It's like Shinra already. It's searching for you. Ah, it's Professor Hojo in a, a bit younger form. Long time no see, Professor Gust. Still talking about samples as usual. You don't understand, don't you, Professor Gast? We can change the future of the planet. Guard, destroy it! Okay, Professor.
Professor Gersh putting up a fight. And then Hojo discovered these tapes. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice bit of uh, backstory. Um, but is there anything else here? We can go down, get a potion. And funny blinking lights on this bed. Yeah, I don't think there's much of anything else here. Okay, let's get out of here. Always nice to have a little refresher of the story. What's this? Grandpa, wake up! Oh boy, new weapons! We've got organics. This is definitely an upgrade. Let's get this one. We've got plenty of money. Buy the Dragon Claw, the Micro Laser. This one is actually a bit less useful, but it's got decent slots. Got a Hawk Eye, a Red M Phone. Got a new weapon for Sid. New weapon for Vincent. Get a bunch of tents, and that's it. A bunch of money, but we've got plenty, so. Uh, Good to have a bit of more choice of uh, some higher end weapons. No, don't. There's a steep grade past here. It's dangerous. Please don't go. I'm still going. What the? Who are those people over there? Looks like trouble. Hey, it's the Turks. It's been a while. <laughs> Cloud, huff, wheeze. It's a secret. Kind of a weird way to split up the word secret. Watch that punch, oh boy. I think I always... yeah. <laughs> I always fail that. Why didn't you try to duck? Great. So... Now what? Let's see... oh. Riding the sled, what are these guys saying? Village is now under martial law. Kick his butt. Oh. I think Big's going down up north. President's gonna be there. Please just lay low for a while. Don't be angry, just doing my job. Uh, I guess we can't leave here, so. Only option is to head down the big slope, and we'll probably need to snowboard for that. Can we talk to this guy. We'll need to snowboard to get down that hill. <coughs> we got a whole bunch of controls. Uh, let's see. What the guide has to say about the snowboarding. I think there's a couple of exits you can take. Uh, a couple of different um, items. Let's 
Okay, depending on the path you take, you will wind up in a number of different areas of the Great Glacier. See if we can um, figure out where we want to uh, end up. I don't see anything mentioned in a guide about uh, there being a special kind of exit we need to take, so we'll just uh, we'll just wing it. Uh, let's see, we can break, we can jump. We've got the directional button, edge, edge left, edge down, what is it, edge right. I think we got it, so... Uh, yeah, we'll have to take the, the snowboard. The, was it over? No, it was not here. It was over here. Right? No. Was it this first house? Yeah, there it is. Hello, I want your snowboards. Hey little kid. Hey, I'll give you my snowboards. Bye, thank you. You're very kind. And now we head back. See, we're fully arrested. Okay, minigame time. Be careful. Okay, so I think there's balloons you can catch for higher scores. Let's see, this is breaking. Uh, uh. Already missed the first one. That's a great start. Holy! Whoa! Eat dirt. Maybe I should break some more. SSX snowboarding. Oh yeah, that game was great. PlayStation 2, right? I was an expert snowboarder there <laughs> back in the day. Although I completely suck at real snowboarding, obviously. But give me computer snowboarding and uh, I'm a sporting hero. Well, except in this minigame, I also suck in this minigame. How is this edging supposed to work? I okay, got one corner there. God, these controls, come on. Another. If you break, you you just end up going straight forward. So, breaking is mostly useless. Yeah, I love the, all the, the different looking um, like environments. You had such inventive shortcuts you could take. There was this really difficult slope in one of the first um, levels that you could like really climb a mountain and you had to be so precise with your jumps and your speed it was a real fun challenge whoa i just did a backflip and got a green balloon this is awesome okay i'm lacking speed for that one Maybe I should uh, look up SSX on the emulator sometime. See how it holds up. Okay. Oh boy. A uh, bunch of trees. Oh, almost. Hurry cloud. Ah. This is terrible. 
absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, like this. Oh, sharp corners. Almost. Now at some point there are like paths we can take. Yeah, like uh, no. The slow on that choice. Uh, I'm guessing we're going right. Yeah, I mean, if the if the gameplay is good, then you you can just play it uh, like forever. Then the uh, the graphics don't really matter. I mean, it's the same as uh, this game, you know. These aren't any uh, very impressive graphics anymore, but they're still kind of timeless because they don't use like textures. It's all very primitive shapes that are like really easy to upscale. Uh, well, of course there are textures, but those are like just in the in the field, and I'm very glad they found a way to upscale them. But yeah, it's uh, in the end it's all about uh, the gameplay, and we got an exit. There we go. Did you ever play any of the uh, SSX um, the sequels? I think there's like a 2, 3 and also uh, SSX Tricky I think. Okay, meanwhile we landed with our faces in the snow. Well, wow, one step and it's already uh, enemy time. Let's see, what do we have here? Do we have a steel manipulate? Let's try manipulate first. No. Uh, let's try steel next. Does have items we can steal. Uh, let's say has anybody got a haste here? Cast haste on cloud. You played every single one. Midnight Club Red Faction. Oh nice. Wait, Red Faction, was that was that like the strategic game with the tanks and stuff? Because I think I had that game. Uh, let's see, we stole a high potion which was pretty useless. Uh, let's try one more manipulation here. Wow, this guy really doesn't want to get manipulated. Alright. Let's just end it. Oh, we got we got some stuff. Let's see, where are we? Just at the top then, I guess. And what materia just uh, got an upgrade? I think we're in level 3 territory now, yeah. Meteor Rain. See, that was Red Alert. Red Faction was where you were my. Oh, yeah! Red Faction. Wasn't that like the, uh, the game that boasted the first destructible environments? Something like that? I think the game I'm confused with also had like a red in the title, maybe. I never saw much uh, about it since then. Uh, let's see if we walk too long we pass out. If we can just find uh, some items or... Or should I check the map? I don't know. Hey, 
Hey, no enemies, no enemies. Um, let's go with some stealing. Oh, it also had multiplayer. So you could just like smash through a wall and then kill your friends. Hmm. Okay, we got the phoenix down, but I don't think there's much else that we uh, really need from these guys. Let's uh, have Tifa finish. Uh, Speed rush, here we go, missed, 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 <laughs> oh my, maybe I should get rid of that, uh, that fury status effect, if she still has it, or these guys have like incredible dexterity, um, let's go with the fire, 5000. Nice, there's certainly a bit of leveling we can do over here. These kinds of enemies. Um, so how do I check the map exactly? I just go to my key items. Map you can use in the Great Glacier. Can't use it now. Yeah, we're probably gonna pass out from exhaustion. More new enemies. More stuff we can steal. Oh, uh, Clouds is gone berserker. Should get rid of that uh, berserker status. Uh, actually, I could just give him the ribbon, but then he doesn't have the manipulate anymore, and we need that here for one of the enemies. Do a bunch of cures all around. To, where to? Something beneath here? Oh, hell yeah! Got the elixir. Uh, let's try and manipulate. That's pretty effective. Okay, at some point we should be passing out here. Then we'll have a good starting point. Just throw a beta in there. Yeah, 
this is this new? I think so. I really should have these exit exit pointers on over here. Hey, these are new as well. Still, yeah, just the phoenix down. Try manipulating one of them. Alright, we got them manipulated. Let's see what he's got. Wing cut, scorpion steel, alright. Not very interesting. Yeah, we're still getting good XP uh, from these battles. Uh, let's see who has the cure. Over here, endless snow. Better watch where I walk. Place a landmark and start walking. Okay, before I continue on with this. And let me check the guide here for the kind of areas that there are and where we definitely want to go. This is area 13. It's located at the top. Okay, you can travel west into area 12, south or east. But what are the items or the places that we want to go? Mind source in a forest. In area 5 you will find a lake with a sheet of ice in the middle. There's an item bag with safety bit in it. Let's see, it's an accessory with a plus 10 strength, right? No, that's not. It prevents death, death sentence, slow numb and petrify. But it's also purchased in Rocket Town or a reward in Gold Saucer, alright, so I don't really care if I miss that over here. But the one I do want to have, I think, is the added cut materia. Last character do a standard attack whenever the paired materia is used. I'm not so sure I really... Oh, there is the Alexander Summon. There's still quite some stuff to find here, alright? Let's just keep on wandering. And we'll just head north here. Ah, uh, it's just a bunch of bunnies. Wait a minute, I didn't equip any of the new weapons. Why is everybody missing? Come on. Right, 
Alright, gonna level up for Vincent. Uh, let's see, all the new stuff that we bought. That's the organics. Pretty good upgrade. Let's go with the Dragon Claw, that's a huge upgrade. Um, this is also... Yeah, it's also pretty good. I think I'm pretty okay with the setup here. Is there anything special we want to protect against? Let's protect against Berserk. We can... Let's say put on a new enemy skill. Um, have an MP plus in there. Yeah, I'm actually I'm pretty much fine with all the stuff I have already, but I guess since we have the slots, we might as well use them here. The Titan in there. Um, I Shiva. Wait, Shiva is uh, ice uh, magic. That's not gonna work on most of these enemies. Okay, I think this is the bit where you end up if you pass out. So that puts us kind of in the beginning. I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, it's the guy that was missing for 20 years. <coughs> right. Let's uh, see what he has to say. Ever heard about those who challenged the cliff? No. Old legend says something fell from the sky. It's supposed to have pushed the land up from the cliff. He cut his own rope. Oh no. I've lived here ever since, challenging the cliff and providing warning. You need to take two precautions. Check your routes. Talk, confirm route, switch, push repeatedly to raise body temperature. Second, warm yourself up once you get to a ledge. Yeah, it's a little mini game. Um, let's see, but... So where is this exactly in the... The area... So yeah, this is the part where we can continue on with the story, probably. Let's just save. Okay, let's see. Yeah, almost two hours of streaming. Um... Yeah, I think I'm uh, gonna make dinner and quit here and uh, maybe I'll uh, try getting the rest of the items here in the snowy area in the next stream before I continue with the plot. There's a bunch of enemies with useful uh, enemy skills and uh, yeah, no problem. Thank you uh, also for watching, of course. And uh, I'll uh, see you next time. Alright. Uh